Hi everyone, I'm Seth C. Hauser. I'm Peter Williams. We're the founders of Super Pacific, and today we're going to walk you through the Switchback X1. The motivation to start Super Pacific really comes from both of us wanting to raise our kids with a strong connection to the outdoors. And as I was fleshing out the idea, I reached out to Spencer because I knew he had a complimentary skill set to do something like this, and then we just took it from there. Pete and I both have a background in product design. Uh, he's got a background in soft goods. I've got a background in aerospace and metalworking. And uh, together we thought we could probably make a product that was really unique and really a leader in the market. So the canopy of the Switchback X1 is designed like an airplane. It's made out of formed and riveted aluminum. Uh, it's super lightweight, super strong. Airplanes have been built like this for almost 100 years, and it's a tried and true method of fabrication. The framework of the fuselage is all basically box beam construction. Box beams are used on most of your pickup truck frames and it allows for a very strong and very, very stiff structural element. The other cool thing about box beams is that it allows us to have a raceway for you to run your electrical, you can run water lines, you can run anything throughout the entire framework of the canopy. It allows for a lot more customization and uh, cleaner design. In addition to the electrical chaseways that you get with the hollow beams, the X1 comes with a 12 volt port and a dual USB charging station, and you can access all that from behind these removable panels. So we tried to add utility to every design decision that we made. To that end, we've added threaded bosses uh, throughout all the beams in the fuselage. We've added slots, lash points, and all sorts of things that allow you to customize and dial your camper in to just the way you want it. So we're real proud of our doors. We've got this big full-size door that hides a full-size opening. Our handle actuates two rotary latches at both corners so the door stays real secure and allow you to open the door from the inside even when the door is closed and locked. Our gas springs have an adjustment system on them that allows you to adjust the opening of your door. You can have it open higher, you can have it open lower. On top of that, we've got a rain gutter here so that rainwater is diverted around your door opening and doesn't come into your canopy. Last off, we've got our hinges. We couldn't find anything in the marketplace that we liked, so we designed our own custom CNC billet hinges. They've got a stainless steel pin, we've got stainless steel fasteners. These things will last a lifetime. We're moving now towards the top of the camper. Every switchback comes with a third brake light that's ready to be hooked up after install. We designed the extrusions that create the hard shell for the tent with uh, T-slots on the exterior, two on the bottom, one on the top. And there's also a T-slot that runs around the top of the hard shell for the entire perimeter for mounting racks or solar panels or whatever you choose to accessorize your switchback with. All these T-slots work with readily available T-nuts. Um, you don't have to buy those from us, you can buy them anywhere. Our corners are made out of um, billet aluminum. We designed a lash point handle. Um, I particularly like this because it makes it easy to step up on your tailgate. We designed a through hole here so you can lock the latch closed with a padlock to secure your hard shell. And the latch itself has two stages. It opens, stays open while you open the camper, and when it comes down, you pop it closed and it stays closed. All right, the front hinges on the hard shell are made out of uh, machined billet aluminum. Um, they're custom, we designed them ourselves. And we added a little lash point um, here, kind of works as an oh shit handle, and you can lash a hammock to it, tie a dog to it, whatever. It's, uh, it's the hard point we use to pick the camper up when we install it. We designed the tent around the XPED Megamat Duo, and we added an additional 20 inches of floor space with two modular floor panels uh, so that you have unbroken access into the interior of your truck bed from the sleeping area without having to disrupt your sleeping area. You can stack those two floor panels, you can remove them entirely, and they both have a chamfer here so you can easily uh, pick them up 
from above, and that also creates a path for chargers for any electronic devices that can get down to our electrical ports in your fuselage. So if you remove them, you can quickly convert the tent area into a full standing height living room. Super handy for changing in and out of wetsuits, getting kids in and out of ski gear, whatever you want to do in here, the world's your oyster. The tent has three doors. Each door has a bug screen as well as a storm door. The bug screens are all continuous zippers with two double-sided poles so you can operate them from the interior and the exterior. Above each door, there is a vent, a screened vent that can be opened or closed. You can close it if you want to retain heat or you can open it if you want to move air. And outside of each screen is a rain fly, which you activate by pulling this webbing through these ladder locks. And what that does is create separation between the rain fly and the vent so you can maintain ventilation even in bad weather. Each of these side storm doors have zipper. They have a boomerang zipper around the top and a horizontal zipper around the bottom. So you can get, if you need to button it up, you can button it up pretty tight. To button up the storm door at the head wall, you release the toggles. You've got two horizontal zippers and at the bottom, there's a toggle and a cord lock to pass through this loop to um, secure the center of the bottom of the storm door. We designed this retractor bracket to put some elastic tension to the center point of the sidewall of the tent on the hinge side so that as you close it, all the material up towards the hinge is gonna organize itself and pleat inwards. We mounted the bracket into a T-slot that runs around the entire perimeter of the interior of the tent so that you can use it to mount any accessories you might want on the interior of your tent. We're really proud of the work we're doing at Super Pacific. We think we're building the best camper on the market. We're doing it with a great team and a great network of manufacturing partners all right here in the Pacific Northwest. We look forward to seeing you out there. Thank <laughs> you.